Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, what I hope will be the first of many, many, many Let's Plays for this channel. Little bit of an experiment, not sure how it's going to go down, but uh, I am so excited to be starting with this game. Now, I, I've been a fan of the Resident Evil series since its original release way back when, way, way, way back in 1996, I believe it was. Jesus God, I think I was 14 years old. Oh man, the original Resident Evil scared the hell out of me. Now this version is Resident Evil HD, the remake that was originally released on the GameCube, which is where I played it. Now, for my money, this game is probably one of the finest horror remakes ever made. It's, it's like, it's a roadmap of how you do a decent horror remake. There are very, very few remakes in all of horror media that are as good as this. Now, Resident Evil. Ah, it's so cheesy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. How can you not love that? Okay, we'll go for the wide alternate. Um, I don't know what that means, so we'll keep... Uh, uh, let's go for the alternate, because the original controls for Resident Evil are generally shit. So let's just go for that. Question, how do you like your games? This is this is the difficulty, basically. Um, we're going to go... The, that's the only way to play it. It's hard mode. It's the only way to play it. If you don't play it that way, then you are a wimp, quite frankly. And here are our characters. We've got Chris Redfield, whose game is slightly harder, I find, than Jill Valentine. So we're going to stick with Jill for this first playthrough and see how it goes. Bearing in mind, I haven't played this game for donkey's years. So I'm going to be really bad at it. Um, oh, I kind of like the alternate costume. I don't know about you. So uh, beret or cap? Beret or cap? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for the cap. I mean, everything about this remake is superb. Every single little thing. The, uh, the uh, opening FMV that we're going to get in a minute when this nonsense is done. Um... The controls, the graphics, everything. It is just stunning. 1998, the not 1996. Yay! Best of luck with that. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. Always fun. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Yes! Victims were apparently eaten. Yummy. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. What, Chris? I love the B-movie nonsense of it all. Sent in where? What? I mean, what? Helicopter was what is this? It's great. I love it. It's like a B-movie. It's awesome. I mean, in the original game, this was all, like, real video, and it was awful. It was brilliant and cheesy and wonderful. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Nothing going to go wrong here at all. This is all perfectly innocent, of course. I like the fact that Jill has had time to do her hair to go on this mission. Oh, you're screwed, Joseph. I do like your bandana in this remake, though. Oh dear. Oh! It's a lot more graphic than it was in the original game. I do believe all of this was censored in the original release, but I had the director's cut, which put all the gore back in. Ooh. Zombie dogs. Oh, they're so good. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? 
Got to give it to Brad. I think he's actually being quite smart at this point. Chris, this way. What is that cannon that, ca that Barry's carrying? I mean, I can't imagine that that's regulation. It elicits such lovely memories. Enter the survival horror. Ugh. There are only three stars members left now. Ooh, Captain tingles. Buster, Barry, and myself. I love we the mansion. I want to live there, zombies and all. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. It's lovely. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't, you don't want to go, go back, back out, out there. there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? Oh, you've got to love no. the acting. Jill, go and investigate. Yes, Jill. I'm going with her. You go investigate on your own. Long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Yes, I'll secure this nice warm Stay hallway sharp. with its candles and whatnot. Oh, it looks so good! I mean, it's an old game now. It's an old game. Uh, but it looks great. It looks really cool. Okay. I notice in the remake, Barry isn't as fat as he used to be. A dining room. I love the original acting. I mean, I, I may play the original game at some point. Right. Let's get the... So what's the difference? Oh, it controls so much better! Oh, we control so much better than it used to! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's brilliant! Look at her move! With her weird robotic legs and everything. That would be an ink ribbon that allows us to save our progress. We could take the ink ribbon. Um, no. No, I'll just leave it here. It's all so cool! Look at the lighting effects and everything! I love it. A large filth encrusted jar. <sighs> I think you'd better take a look at this. Blood. That's right, taste it. Blood. Blood, as he used to say in the original game. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. And tasting it. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Yes, let's. Examining. What exactly are you going to do? Are you going to finger paint with it or something? Oh, he is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look, you can see, like, smoke and ash rising. That is fabulous. Uh, no, I won't yet. No, um, no, not yet. Not yet. I will leave that for now because I know what that is for. Oh, yes. I love, love the loading screens, the opening doors, the going up the stairs and everything. It adds such atmosphere. And the fixed camera angles, uh, so you can't see where anything is. It's creepy as fuck. It's locked from the other side. What could be down the corridor? Who knows? Oh, I know, because I played it before. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into it. What's around the corner? Nothing is around the corner yet, because I know, because I played it. <gasps> no, we're not going down there. Doesn't matter, there's actually nothing down there at the moment, but uh, there will be, eventually. I love this mansion. God, I am like, I am 14, 15 years old again. I know exactly what's around this corner. Ew. Oh, it's gross. You handsome devil. Ugh. Go on, squelch. Squelch. Oh, they don't squelch as much as they did in the original. In the original, it was more like... It's like they were walking on rotten apples. It was brilliant. You deal with it, Barry. You've got that bloody cannon. Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it. Yes, you do that, Barry. 
Just shoot it in the face. That thing should demolish it. Its head should just go bang like an overripe what melon. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Yes, let's. Let's not mourn our comrade or anything like that. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Oh, subtle. And look up there, look up there. Move, Barry. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of the knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Subtle. I love the puzzles in these games. Oh. God, he's quick, isn't he? For a zombie. Soundtrack. Wesker. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Yes, let's not. Let's just uh, sit here. Let's make a little camp. We could get like blankets and things, and you know, gather whatever food there is, and just have a little party here until somebody comes and looks for us. I, I, I think that's perfectly fine. Better finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better do that. Better do that. Wee. <laughs> Wee. Round and round we go. Yeah, good idea. I love the fact you can actually dynamically go up the stairs now, which is something you couldn't before. Yeah. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. Yes, let's do that. The dining room. Okay. The dining room. Try the door on the other side. <sighs> yeah, you say that, Jill. You're not gonna do that. You can say that. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. That ain't gonna happen either, Barry. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lock. Baby. For you, the master of unlocking. Uh oh. This is actually, this is a, a massive benefit for uh, playing with Jill. She has the lockpick, which enables her to open little locks, but Chris doesn't. Which is a bit of a pest. You need to find these little keys that take up inventory space. It's a right pain in the arse. Yeah, you, you go, Barry. You just leave me here. I'm fine. Twat. Look at those candles. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is one of my favorite games on the GameCube. I, I, I thought it was so good, and I still think it's gorgeous. Woman, woman drawing water. Okay. Portraits and photographs decorate the wall. It looks like they could come to life at any moment, but they won't because this isn't Silent Hill, sadly. Hmm. Oh, there's something up there. A dining room. No, it's not. Oh. Uh, an airy picture of the mansion. That's um, it's good to see. Good to know. I mean, those of you who have played the original Resident Evil know you know how good a recreation this is. It is so cool. Hmm. Will you take the dagger? Yes, I think I will. Using defensive items such as daggers. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So, this is where we are. Where's the, uh, how do we look at it? Yay, 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 yay! So that's equipped. Cool. So we can use uh, defensive items now, which is actually very useful. Oh! <gasps> What's happening? As though I didn't know. Oh, Jill, you are such a twat. Handsome chappies. Handsome men all over this, uh, this mansion. It's wonderful. Oh, wrong button. Ah, I didn't even have to use my defensive item, you twat. That's because I played this game before. And now you're never getting out again! <laughs> An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Well, actually you are. What I'm going to do, before I go and get the map up there, I'm just going to leave momentarily, and then when I come back in, he'll be gone. And then I can get behind and use the dresser to climb up and get the map. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's these little tricks that people who, uh, who know Resident Evil kind of do quite often, really. It's very naughty. 
He's gone. I think. Okay, let's see if we can get behind it. I think we can. We can climb up on top and then get back down on this side. Yeah! And then we can push it this way. I wonder where he went. Because that... Oh, there he is! Oh. I'm not going to have to like actually use ammo, am I? Because that would be annoying. Use the defensive item, Jill! Stab him! Oh, that went terribly well. Just die. First kills are special! Yay! I didn't know there was a trophy for that, but um, that pleases me enormously. Really does. I mean, one of the great benefits... Oh, mansion map. Yes, we will take that. Thank you. Oh, it's all so familiar. I love it so much. Um... One of the great benefits um, of this game over the original is the zombies don't just sit there. Did, did, was that boob physics I saw? That She's actually got boob physics. That's amazing. Um, not really that interesting to me, but I'm sure the heterosexuals amongst you out there find that very endearing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you leave the zombies, they actually come back to life later um, as things called crimson heads, which um, are not very good at all. I'm not opening that. You know what's going to happen if you've played the original. If you open the front door, a dog jumps through. I don't want that to happen. Let's go see what Barry was doing. A dining room. Hmm. Hmm. I will admit, it's been a while since I've played this game. Oh, yes. No, we don't want that yet. Mm, no. Not yet. We'll come back for that. The puzzle the, to do with that is is ages and ages and ages away, so we're not going there yet. I love the style of the mansion. I think it's very, very chic. I like it a lot. I like that... I mean, it's something the original Resi did as well. It's got such atmosphere. It actually feels like you can sort of smell the air and everything. Ew. Hello. Have you got anything good on you? The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Okay, cool. Nice. There's something back there, look. Isn't there something on the... No, apparently not. Okay, I think we're going this way next. I don't think there was a, a lightning storm going on in the original game either. Oh, that's such a cool shot, isn't it? Look at that. That is fab. Oh, no, going the wrong way there. Ooh cautious. Hello. Oh, it's a survival horror game, so whenever you can pick up ammunition, it's wonderful. There's a corpse collapse on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? I don't know, but there are manacles on the walls, which is a bit distressing. And yes, I saw you, Herbs. Will you take the green herb? Yes, I will. For some reason, it's it's one of the oddities of Resident Evil. Herbs are health items. Um, you're going to have to ask Capcom about that one. I don't know why. But if we combine them, it makes them doubly effective, which is always nice. Now, we're going to have to remember where he is, because we'll have to come back here to burn that corpse. Oh, listen to it. It's so cool. So cool. I think I know what's going to happen through here. In fact, I think we meet the first of the Crimson Heads through here. Yep, it's on the floor there, look, you see? That is going to get up and become a Crimson Head before long. That's already mutated, so it will not be very long at all before that becomes a Crimson Head. Not good. Not good at all. Um... Ah! Fat zombie! Another thing that's absolutely wonderful about this game, the zombies are not just carbon copies of one another. They're I know how to use items, thank you very much. I have played a survival horror game before. That's right. Oh, ammo! Yes, I saw that. Thank you. We're going to have to come back through here, definitely, when we've got some um, kerosene and a lighter so we can just burn all of those bodies. Uh, we do not want those turning into crimson heads. Believe me, we don't. 
Squelchy. Oh, look at that! Shadows! Dynamic shadows. That is so cool. I love the way it highlights the items in the foreground as well. You see in the statue's hand? We do want that. Come on. I'm just going to lead him round here so he doesn't bother me when I'm uh, moving the statue about. Cool. Come on. Come on. I haven't got all day. Hello. What's of daggers just lying around? I hope there were no children playing in this manner at any point. This is not very child-friendly at all, really. Health and safety would have a nightmare. Mind you, I suppose when you're working for the Umbrella Corporation, um, health and safety isn't really much of an issue. Look at the look at the molecules in the air there. That is so cool. Oh dear. That that wasn't um you know, you're a guest in this house, Jill. That wasn't exactly cricket, was it? Can we go through here? It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved. An emblem of a sword. That means we need the sword key. We can go do oh! Whoa, 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 that net, that, that, actually, he, he, they move a lot quicker. They shamble a lot quicker. Whew, that actually scared me. Well done. <laughs> Sounds like when I'm on the bus on the way into town. Here we are explicitly against Barry's wishes on the second floor of the mansion. I'm sure he's going to have a hairy habdab about that. But there is something we can do now. We picked up this arrow, and if we examine it... The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Okay. It's very pretty. Peridot. Sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Okay. I think it's very pretty, whether it's Peridot or not. One for the Steven Universe fans out there, I think. And uh, the the, uh, the peridot thing can be used out here, I do believe. I do believe this leads us out into the gardens. Any zombie gardeners? There probably are. Yes. <coughs> to you too. It's locked from the other side. You just shamble around there. I'm going to go have a look in here. Oh, there's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Hmm, I wonder what we could use here. I love how esoteric these puzzles and locks and things are. I mean, it's totally unnecessary. Why th the Umbrella Corporation does this is totally beyond me. I mean, it makes sense in Silent Hill. It doesn't make sense here at all. That's why we love it. Look at the lighting! Look at the lighting! It's amazing! I mean, this, to say this was on the GameCube originally, it is amazing looking. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. A stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. A stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. A stone statue with a hole where the mouth should be. You see, all of this, all of this, that you have to believe that all of this is a contrivance of the Umbrella Company in order... Mm, that's ominous. In order to keep things locked. Locked. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the Book of Curse? Well, why not? The following inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Let's have a look here, shall we? The Book of... Oh, hello. There's a key embedded in the back cover. Will you move it? You got the mansion key. Oh, what's inside the book? Oh, hello. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Ominous. And... Poorly written, I might add. What one is this? There's an engraving of a sword. Sword key. Lovely. That means we can start getting around the manor a little bit now. I've got to watch our gardener friend up here, though. Just look at it. The way she... I just... I love it. The camera angles. The sprite work. The environments. Everything. Oh, look. There are moths up there. Hello! Oh, there's another one. Now, what types of zombie are you? There, there are different types of zombies. Some of them don't grab you and try to eat you. Some of them vomit. They actually literally vom all over you, which is terribly, terribly charming, I've always felt. 
Okay, sword key time. I believe there was a sword door up here. Where that, uh, the guy in the balcony was. I mean, there is absolute. I mean, those of you who know the games know there is absolutely no point whatsoever in trying to kill all of the zombies. It just, hello, just wastes ammo. Um, if you're if you're used to these games, then you can you can dodge most of them, not all of them, mind. As uh, you're about to find out. Yay! There's a few round here, if I remember correctly. If this is where I think it is, yes, it is good. Can we go out there yet? <gasps> we can. There's... I'm sure there's one round here. Oh, no! Actually, 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 there's one down the corridor there. Run, run, run! Because he's going to come shambling at you in a minute. We're going to go down here. Because under the stairs is a zombie! And another zombie. And the best music in the game. The one that makes your heart... When, when you were a kid and you found this room... The safe room music. That music, it was when you could breathe again, basically, when you were a kid. Okie dokie, let's put some stuff back. Um, we can put the knife away, we're not going to be using that. We can put that away for the time being, and we'll keep everything else, I think, for the time being. And we can also, it's an old typewriter, you can save your progress. Yeah, I think we'll do that. You have to collect ink ribbons to save your progress. It's so bizarre, I love it. Makes no sense at all, but there we go. What is she typing? Is that what she's typing? Like, in the gaming universe, is she typing something like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm in a mansion full of zombies and things and everything's going to crap. There are several kinds of serum here, all of a sickly color. Okay, fine. We will also leave the ink ribbons here because they just take up space so they can sod off for the time being. Bing bong bing. Run! That thing will become a crimson head in due order. So we're going to have to be rather swift with finding that bloody kerosene. There are, there are flasks and there are kerosene and there's a lighter somewhere. Um, and if we can find them, then we can start burning those bloody corpses so they don't come back. Oh, that one opens ominously. I don't like that. <gasps> oh, I know where we are. A stained glass window. The pattern in the center resembles a witch. Does it? I'll take your word for that one. Yeah, we need to come back here. We haven't got the dog whistle yet. It's annoying. Where is the fucking dog whistle anyway? I can't remember. Oh, I'm sure we'll find it in due course. You unlocked it! Yay! I think this gives us a um, a safer route round. Or maybe not so safe. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah! So now we can bypass a lot of the zombies and uh, go round that way, which is really cool. Nice! Okay, let's go and find some more doors to open with the sword key, shall we? And uh, in due time, we will find a dog whistle. I can't quite remember where it is. But I think, I think we can go through here now. It's actually not that hard to figure out your way. It's all it's it's fairly common sense. It's quite difficult to get lost, he says, knowing that he almost almost certainly will. <sighs> we all know this corridor, don't we? It's the same corridor that made us all jump out of our skins when we were kids. Various sculptures and bits of pottery. I don't think I can move that one. Be prepared. It's too quiet. You know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether they come through quite yet, but they're coming through. Run like buggery, basically. Oh, hello. Oh, it's it's teasing now. It's teasing. Oh, thank you. Always nice. Always lovely. Yes, please. Making a mental note of where those corpses are, because we're going to need to burn a lot of them. Oh, hello! Staring with dead-eyed determination at the camera there. That's a, not a very flattering framing of you, Jill, I have to say. Um, hello? 
use the lockpick. Now, if we were playing as Chris, we'd need to go around finding little keys to open all of these doors and things. It would have been a nightmare. Oh, I know what's around here. Shut up. We need this. Yes, we will. We need this. Oh, fuck. Shares us. There's some kerosene out here as well, but we don't have a canister to put it in. Which is slightly frustrating. We'll take that. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to run past these bastards without them actually hurting us. We shall see. Because what they usually do is leap over the fence, which is uh, not nice. They will when we come back to get the kerosene. And yes, we are going to be burning all of the, crim the potential Crimson Head zombies. Uh, combine with that, and then we can combine that with that. Why not? Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, can we combine that with that? Yes, we can. Oh, she's going to get good and high later on. A picture of the mansion against the setting sun. Oh, how nice. Oh, we all know this room too, don't we? Mm -hmm. The doors are so creepy. So freaking creepy. It looks like the water still works well. It's... Oh! Doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. Well, isn't that lovely? You know what's in here, don't you? <sighs> Why not? That's it. Stare down into the water, Jill. Oh, well, at least he's a clean zombie. Hygiene-oriented zombie. Apart from the, the, the vomit and filth pouring from his lips, of course. Oh, get off! Oh, that's it, Jill! Oh! That's the way to do it! Nice. Need servicing now, I'll bet. You know what? He's one that we don't actually have to burn because we just don't have to come back here again. I've said that now, and now I have this horrible feeling that he actually does burst through that door if you leave him. So, uh... Yes. Love the shots! Just love the shots in this game. They're awesome. Oh. Hmm... I think I know what's going to happen here. Yes. Yes. It's that room. It's that room. And you all know what room it is. You all know. I'm not sure the line, the famous line is in this game, though. I'm, I'm really sorry to report. There are traces of something burnt here. An acrid smell permeates the air. Picture stands and bronze statues. There's nothing of interest. Yeah, I like the fact that the game points it out. Well, polished silver pitcher. Are we going to pick up the ink ribbons? No. Will you take the shotgun? Yeah. Oh. That's ominous. Oh, fine. Yes, we'll take them and we will store them a little later. Full inventory. Not a good thing. One of the most famous set pieces in the game. Oh dear. Oh shite. I, you know, gotta hand it to Umbrella for the inventiveness of their security systems. They are absolutely... They, they go all out, don't they? They go all out. I mean, this is like oh, physically God. improbable. Wesker! Barry! Help! Yeah, this ain't gonna go well for you, you Jill. No. I mean, I can only imagine that there must have been an Umbrella employee here to clean that up and reset it, which must have been a nightmare. Stop questioning the logic of the game, George. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Oh, they've altered it. They've altered it. Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? Yes. I'm glad and all, but why are you here? 
I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to Yes, you're not suspicious at all, Barry. Not at all. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Jill Sandwich. Ah, Jill Sandwich. What a great guy. And Barry is a great guy, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of what you might think of him, he is a great guy. And one of the most beloved characters in this game series. Everybody loves Barry Burton. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know where we are. We're going to have to be careful with this door. This door has a tendency to break if you go through it too much, which can be a pain in the arse. Squelchy, squelchy. I'm sure there's a zombie around here. No! Oh, there he is. Eat it. Oh, that looks very fetching on you. Those defensive weapons are brilliant, by the way. I love them. Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, bing bing. Wanna make you relax. Oh, there's the canteen. That's very good. Um, we will save that and we will store that too. We'll store as much as we possibly can. I'm not... Uh, we'll store that too. Why not? Um, and I think this is where we'll pick up the canteen because we can use that. Oh, yes, we can. Um, yes, I think I very much will. And we will also take... We fill your canteen? Yes, we will. And we will save it here, ladies and gentlemen. Is there is there a typewriter? Yes, there's a typewriter. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first set of Resident Evil HD. If you enjoy this, please let me know. And um, thank you very much indeed for watching. We'll be back soon for more fun and games with Jill sandwiches and dining rooms and... God knows what else. 